I am up early, early this morning. It is 9.08 a.m. There's a red curb I've been wanting to skate by myself. That's what we're doing this morning. I haven't skated this early since I was a little kid, since I was probably like 10 years old, I reckon. Trying to figure out right now if I can kickflip manual the curb, that'd be sick. I can kickflip like a manual, I'm yet to put both together, so let's see how this goes. I'm not really that keen to battle it right now. Like this session was more about me getting out of the house and riding my skateboard and having fun, which is something I need to do more of. So I'm not too pressed on the kickflip manual. I can come back to it. I've had a pretty fun sesh so far. I feel like there's little fun sessions where you're just chilling and having fun. You're not pushing yourself too hard. They're like little confidence blocks. When you do go on like a big session, you feel way more confident because you've been skating pretty comfortably, if that makes sense. If you guys are wondering what board I'm riding, it's just a blank. Um, I got this blank from Identity Board Store, I think. And yeah, I just wanted a blank board to put some stickers on. Get it out in the sunlight for you guys to see. Yeah, it's just a blank with a blue veneer. This was the same color as my first real skateboard deck in Australia. It was, it was a hardcore. There was a company back in Australia called Hardcore in the early 2000s that made really cool blanks that were really popular. So yeah, um, these stickers look really cool against it. And it has the evening grip, which you can get at eveningmob.com. I'm thinking about screen printing some skateboards. So comment down below if that's something you guys think I should do. I've got a pretty sick image in mind. I've just got to get the blanks with different colored veneers and I'm set to go, I think. I've never really given this school a good look over. Like obviously I came here before to skate the curbs and the flat ground's perfect, but I'm gonna do a little drive around to see if I can see anything inside the school. It's Thanksgiving week, so school is out. Kinda wanna hop the fence, but I kinda can't be asked to do that. So we might just do a drive around and see what we can see. There is absolutely nothing here. <laughs> it's pretty much those red curbs and that's it. There's like a crusty force there and like a really crusty ledge, but both would need work to skate so yeah had to look had to look for myself you never know sometimes you come across gems in your local neighborhood sometimes you don't in this case we didn't we're in the beautiful city of lake elsinore california a city that's probably more known as a motocross dirt bike destination in the 70s honda named the i think it was the cr125 it was called the elsinore we're at one of three elsinore parks which is pretty impressive considering Temecula only has one park and it's prehistoric. And you think of both cities, Temecula has more Ashkay than Elsinore. But yeah, there's three skate parks here. I just want to try and hit all three today and not be absolutely knackered by the end of it. So yeah, this is Serenity Park. Um, it's dead right now, so I'm going to try to get some clips and we're going to move on to summer. <laughs>
wax, we didn't bring any wax, but we have this Banana Boat SPF 50 Sport Ultra sunscreen. It might do the trick if I'm really quick with it. So I'm gonna spray this on and then we're gonna hit the rail really quickly. Fingers crossed I can get it. Here we are at Somali. I don't wanna go outside Cause I find it hard to breathe When I see another face One that's looking back at me And I can't stop thinking about this panic I can't quite figure it out So I escaped in my room I repeat to myself in the sun, agoraphobic in my room, I'm afraid of everyone, and my voice is out of tune, and they say I'm fixated on the present, I'm hyper focusing on it, and I need to chill out, but the world is too loud. Oh, 